wrestling. We had a roof on this building, but this crowd blew it off. I first want to start out by saying it was stupid in the first place to let all these people in here for free. We could have made a lot of money off this event. Thanks a lot, Carter. Mr. Carter wanted to bring in this new event with a huge bang, so he let the crowd in for free. Here tonight, we're going to see Garland versus the Gladiator, the first match in the new Intercontinental Championship Tournament. And also, the Tag Team Championship Tournament begins. We will see Maverick teaming up with El Numbre Uno, taking on new talent here, Simon Simon Simmons. And te he's teaming up with the brain Yeah, here whatever, man. Then we got the main event with Cosmic Tiger, Niles Hunter, and another newcomer to the women's division. It's going to be a table flies and chairs match here tonight. There ain't no tender love and care between these three ladies. Her name, by the way, is Teresa Phelps. We'll see her in the main event in her debut match. Man, it's, going, it's great to see Garland back in the ring, man. You know, he started off his career as one of the greatest managers in Online Wrestling Federation. Actually, no. The greatest manager in Online Wrestling Federation history. Probably the greatest manager in Empire history. One of the best announcers on the, on, on the team, man, around the Empire. But now, he's stepping into the ring. Now he's competing. He's always had that bug, man. They always had that bug to compete. And when he was in OWF, he impressed a lot of people with his wrestling ability. Now, he's gonna be competing in FZW, and you gotta think, with all the stuff he's been doing at AWM, and all around the world, man, he ain't did nothing but get better. Absolutely, serve up, I agree with that. Garland, a great in-ring technician, and he's only been getting better throughout the years. The guy has a lot of skill. He's, he's great on the microphone and he's great in the ring. But he's got to prove himself. He's got to get those wins. And if he wins the Intercontinental Championship, becomes the inaugural champion, that would be amazing for Garland's career. The last time we saw him in Online Wrestling Federation, he, there was a lot of people saying that he was a top contender for the World Championship. We saw him and him and Nine actually involved with each other he was actually trying to help nine it seemed like he was of course the owf national champion in owf's closing days now we see him here in fight zone wrestling he can win that fzw intercontinental championship he's also in the tag team title tournament imagine if garland has to compete at fzw worldwide our very first pay-per-view event and he has a television, a, excuse me, an Intercontinental Championship match and a tag team title match. How is that going to affect him? Can he win both titles in one night? It would definitely be impressive. Become an inaugural tag team and Intercontinental Champion. But we'll have to see if he even moves forward for the Intercontinental Championship against the Gladiator. And the Gladiator is not going to be an easy opponent for Garland. The Gladiator is pretty brutal. He's pretty, he's pretty impressive. That's the reason why he signed FZW. We saw him in his match against Bobby Shaw. Oh my God! That's an example of how brutal he can be right there. Garland is out of it. He gets his foot on the rope still, but he's still. Wow, he's still conscious after that somehow. Yeah, yeah, play. I want to talk to you about something real quick. Now we just saw you competing in FZW. When are you gonna be back, man? What happened? Are you even? Are you clear to compete? Are you just doing announcing from the side for now? What's going on with your career, play? Well, unfortunately, I was sidelined with a major, with a uh, major concussion at the hands of Sheldon Mondo. But I'm waiting for uh, doctors to clear me. I'll have to go through a few tests or anything like that. But I am telling you right now. I will be back in that ring, and I will be coming after Sheldon Mondo for that World Heavyweight Championship. Or, if Melvin Thompson can win that title next week here on Fight Zone Wrestling, that's fine. All the best of luck to Melvin Thompson. I'm going after Sheldon Mondo.
for what he did to me. And I'm taking him out. I'm not going to injure him or anything like that. I'm not barbaric like he is. But I just want to beat him. I just want to pin him and show him that I am better than him. And then once I beat him, I'll come after Melvin Thompson's World Heavyweight Championship. Man, well, let's see what happens, player. We'll see what happens between Melvin Thompson and Sheldon Mondo for that World Heavyweight title. And we'll see how your future will hold here with Fight Zone Wrestling, man. It'll be nice to see you back in action, I guess. I I'm just saying, you know. What are you trying to say? You wouldn't want to see me back in the ring? I mean, I'm just saying, man. I'm going to be honest. I'd rather see you out of the ring than in the ring, man. It's no, it's not me dissing you, you, you know. Ain't me dissing you or anything. You got great wrestling ability and all that. But, you know, I'm just saying, player. You have been helping out Fight Zone Wrestling on the side. I mean, it's been all over the Empire Dirt Sheets, player. Let's be honest. Yeah, and I fought to prove myself in that ring here for Fight Zone Wrestling. I don't have any pull backstage. I'm simply believing in this product and helping them out. That doesn't mean I'm the owner. It doesn't mean I'm, 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 call, I'm booking matches or anything. I'm a professional wrestler here. I'm an athlete here. Carter does all that. He does the booking for the show. We got a pinfall cover here. That was a nice slam there. A diamond clash from the Gladiator. Not going to be able to put Garland away, however. He's going to have to do a lot more of that to take Garland out. But Garland, he needs to finally, he needs to, he needs to find a way to get back on his feet, get back in this match, get the ball back in his court right now. I know he's been playing a lot of NBA 2K lately, so he knows how to get the ball in his court. Maybe. Now, let's be honest about Garland's NBA 2K skills real quick. All right? I played with him a few times online, all right, man? Let's be honest, all right? His gaming skills have always been trash, all right? He never had the ball in his court. He be all, he be, he be messing everything up, Blair. I'm telling you, you don't ever want to be on Garland's team when you're playing NBA 2K. You do not want to be against him because it's going to be a real boring game. You're going to beat the hell out of him. Man, he could be, he, you could try to force him to win. He's staying going to win. That's how trash he is in NBA 2K. I'm just saying, I'm just being honest. And forget Jocelyn too, player, because he garbage too. I own a PlayStation 4. I, I, I think I've seen you play NBA 2K. I've definitely seen you play NBA 2K, but one, I've never seen you play online. Two, don't you have an Xbox 360? Hey, don't even know. Shut up, player. Yeah, I got an Xbox 360, so I still play with him, player. Yo, player, it's, it's that new that new technology, player, where you can play with other systems and everything. I'm telling you, player, I beat them all even. How, how's, how embarrassing I got to be? You got updated generation console and all that, and I still beat you, player. I'm just saying, man. Xbox 360 all day, every day. I still beat you. It don't even matter, player. You already know what it is. I'm just saying there it seems to be some holes in the story. But right now, let's focus on the in-ring action right now. Once again, the Gladiator taking out Garland right now. He's been tearing him apart throughout this whole match. And he almost got the pin there, but he's still not going to be able to end it. Garland is still continuing. The Garland, the Gladiator, excuse me, is still trying to find a way to put Garland away. Gladiator about to leap from that middle rope. Oh, he didn't make it, though. That one slip up could cost him this match, player. That's why he don't go to the top rope. That's why he don't go to the middle rope very often, man. This dude ain't aerial specialist. And that may cost him. He could have bu busted that leg right now, player. Or something. His neck. I don't know, player. Garland just going after the leg and the neck right now, man. This hurt either way, man. It hurt either way. This is this is just... Uh-oh, wait a minute. The glider got out of it. Oh, he rolled out of it somehow. I don't know, player. They bump reds right now, player. And Garland, he taking him down with a, a simple fireman's carry, man. Nothing fancy about it. Oh! And that's one of Gen that's Genesis' fi finishing maneuver right there, man. man. And Gladiator just used yeah, it to he, his he, advantage. He yeah, but serve up. He should have went for the pinfall right now. I don't think this is a good idea lock in a submission hold afterwards, but it is a pretty devastating submission hold, I must admit. But Garland... I think his technical abilities might be above the Gladiators, to be honest. Gladiator is more of a brawler, and that's what we see right now. He's just brawling, and he's just kicking him down. Nothing fancy about it. He's going after the arm now. Wrenching back on that arm, trying to hyperextend that elbow right now. I hope Garland's double-jointed. Yeah. You better hope he is right now, man. Or that arm, snap, crackle, pop. About to be like Rice Krispies up in this bitch. Wrenching at the arm of Garland right now. The Gladiator is in full control of this match. And then he just slams his arm down as he lets go of the hold. What is this now? 
Whatever he was trying to do there did not work as Garland escaped it. That's that technical ability that Garland has right now. And a Northern Light suplex, he takes down the Gladiator. And now, next player. And right now the sun, we have a lot of shade in the arena right now, thankfully. But if the sun was out, if it was out even brighter right now, I mean, even now, it's a, it's a little humid out here. It's going to be the summer right now. These guys, they're going to be wasting a lot more energy since they're not in an arena right now. Cool, I got him! Cool down arena. And look at that. Nice exploder suplex One, from the Gladiator. Two. Oh, but play. Garland got the shoulder up anyways. Yep, it's still going to continue now, man. This match is for the Intercontinental Championship. Remember that. These guys want to be the inaugural. It's a continental champ. Yeah, and all you got to do to do that is win every match that you have from this point on. Wins and losses count. No matter how many people want to say that wins and losses. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Garland. Garland. He has him locked up. He has him locked up. Kevin's Curtis locked in, player. Garland. He's trying to become the Intercontinental Champion. He's the last ever international champion in Online Wrestling Federation. He was on the very last episode of the Uploaded, and now he's looking to become the new FCW Intercontinental Champion. And you gotta remember, on the very last episode of OWF Loaded, you announced to the world that you were the new president of OWF, and OWF was never seen again. Anyways, what an incredible match we've had here tonight on FCW Fight Zone Wrestling. And now up next, we're going to see the tag team title tournament again between another new no, newcomer, the man among men, Simon Simmons, is going to be teaming up with the Brain to take on the team of Maverick and El Numbre Uno. Still to come from left to right. Cosmic Tiger versus Niles Hunter versus Teresa Phelps. Triple Threat TLC match. No tender loving care in this one. This is our main event. Tables, ladders, and chairs. But up next, the tag team title tournament begins. El Numbre Uno and Maverick are going to team up to take on the brain and the newcomer to FZW, Simon Simmons, the man among men. Live from San Diego, California. What a beautiful evening we're having here today. El Numbre Uno and KTG are two of the favorites here in FCW. If you're a fan of high flying, high impact, total non stop action style wrestling, these two men put on an incredible contest. I mean, they they may even have they may even deserve their own cruiserweight championship or X division championship, but they're not gonna be competing in their own division. They're gonna be staying right here, competing for the Intercontinental Championship. El Numbre Uno wants to become uh, the number one player here in FZW. To do it. You have to get one step closer to that intercontinental champion. Y'all been messing everything up. This is for the tag team titles. You ain't in the intercontinental title tournament, man. Yeah, you're right. Uh, sorry, Maverick is the one that is in the intercontinental championship title tournament, though. He'll be taking on Milk, but that's next week, I believe. Right now, Maverick. we're gonna see Maverick team up with El Numbre Uno to take on the team of Simon Simmons and the Brain. So let's see how that turns out. Let's see what goes on in that match. Right now, 
Maverick got that nice shiny jacket on, man. That nice shiny vest, however, man. And I like his new mask and everything. He got a great look. But he ain't won a match here yet. He was in the World Heavyweight Title Tournament. And he did not. He did not come out successful in that match. In that tournament, I mean. yeah, Eventually, Sheldon Mondo would walk away as the winner of the tournament. And he would win the FCW Wrestling World Championship. But, still can't, he still can't count Maverick out. He can still, do, he still get the job done, you don't know that. He can become new tag team champions, the inaugural tag team champion. And the future is bright for him. He can still become the FCW World Heavyweight Champion at some time. Dude, that's what everybody said about Milk. They said Milk would be the world champion. He was the fan favorite here in Fight Zone Wrestling. And what happened? He lost. Brain, a very smart athlete. He made it to the finals for the FCW Wrestling World Championship and unfortunately did not win. Sheldon Mondo got the best of the Brain that night. And the Brain has been struggling to get anywhere here in FCW so far. Hopefully in this tag team title tournament, it's exactly what he needs to succeed here in Fight Zone Wrestling. We'll see what he can do when he teams up with Simon Simmons. Yeah, and this is a perfect team too, man, because both these dudes are hairy as hell. Ooh. Somebody give him a razor for Christmas. Matter of fact, just give him a razor now, man. That's, that's got to be hard, man. We're, in, we're outside. The summer is coming. It's going to be hot as hell, man. It's already hot. And you got to wrestle outside against these two dudes. Who are just hairy and sweat. It's disgusting, man. I would not want to be El Numbre Uno, especially El Numbre Uno, because this dude is oily as hell. He need to stop putting on all that damn body oil, man. I'm trying to slip out of this move here. Ain't gonna work. Ain't slipping today. Uh, look at that, man. From what I understand, man, Simon Sarris, he is a incredible wrestler, man. Better than Garland. That's saying something. That's what a lot of people say, too. That's not me just trying to put him over and stuff, player. There's a lot of people that said he is probably the best amateur wrestler here at FZW. But there's a difference between amateur wrestling and professional wrestling. A big difference. There's a reason why they're amateurs and why these are the professionals. Yeah, we'll have to see what he's made of here in that ring when he's in a professional wrestling ring. He's no stranger to professional wrestling. Of course, he is a professional wrestler. He is, however, new to FZW. And we have some of the most talented stars in the world, El Numbre Uno earned his nickname by being the best in a promotion here in San Diego, California. However, now he needs to earn his way to the top here in FZW. Here we go. El Numbre Uno with a calf kick to the face. And he takes down Simon Simmons. Makes the tag to Maverick. And now we're gonna have both luchadors in the ring right now. Taking out Simon Simmons. The man among men, and look at that corkscrew moonsault that we just saw from Maverick. That was amazing. He goes for a springboard moonsault now off the middle rope. Yeah, man, you don't want to blink. You might miss everything that Maverick does. Man, the dude is so fast, he's so quick. Dude got so much speed, look at that. Jumping leg drop off the back of his neck. This dude is just so ag agile, man. Simon S Simmons can barely even get up right now, and he's already getting taken back down with that. Look at that, man! I don't even know what that is. He just did he take the hell out of Simon Simmons right now, though. One, two, Simon Simmons wow. kicks out. Simon keeps the match going. Maverick keeps going as well. Oh, he missed with the drop kick, though, and Simon rolled out of the way. Here we go. Nice left. Went for a right. Maverick with a right of his own, however. Goes behind. 
Look at this. Uh-oh. There it is. Just some classic wrestling right there. Pick him up, slam him down. Nothing fancy about it. But Maverick is going to answer back with something fancy in just a moment, I'm sure. No, maybe not. A jawbreaker. That jaw connecting with Simon's head. Could break his two teeth like that. Make him bite his tongue. He slams him down again. And now look at this. Now he's just embarrassing him. Oh, and a slap across the back of the head of Maverick. Reminded me of Kurt Angle when he was doing that, man. I've seen Kurt Angle do that a lot just to embarrass his opponent. Shane McMahon, though, he also did it to Kurt Angle at King of the Ring, man. You remember that legendary match? It was in trouble. Right now, though, look at this. Go for cover. He's trying to pin Maverick, but Maverick said, forget about it. Kick out. Uh-oh. Simon missed with that, and Maverick missed as well. Both these guys are just missing. And that punch to the face looked like it connected, though. So now we have something going on between these two once again. Oh, my God. A Lumbre Uno elbow right in his face and hit off the apron when he tried to put his hands. Oh, no. The brain. I don't know if he accidentally hit the referee if he did on purpose. Knowing him, he probably did on purpose. So he can try to get a weapon right now, but the referee's getting back up to his feet. Thankful. Look oh, at this! Oh, Maverick! Over the top roll! Oh my goodness, man, Maverick! Putting a lot on the line right there, flying through the air, coming right down on, on the brain to take him out. Look at Lumbre Uno taking out Simon Simmons. This is just crazy right now, player. I'm just telling you right now. I'm just... Wow. Crazy. Throws him in the ring. And now Maverick is going to wait for him to get up to his feet. So he... Oh, and now Lumbre Uno got in his way, it looks like. Here we go, though. He's going up in the way, though. But that man blocked Simon Sarris and Tom. Yeah. Snap, man. Makes the tag. The brain, and now Maverick is in trouble. Here we go. Look at these punches to the face of Maverick. Oh, and then he chops him on his throat and then smacks the ears. He's biting him. He's trying to bite him anyway. He's biting the mask, but I'm not sure those teeth can get right through the, that mask. Oh, look oh, at this. Oh, the atomic ass breaker. No, we weren't really planning on having tag teams here in Fight Zone Wrestling, but since we had so much, so many athletes actually come to FZW since its beginning. We have enough superstars to actually form a tag team division now and that's why we're having tag team champions crowned at FZW's Worldwide. Our very first pay-per-view event. We cannot wait until Worldwide premieres. It's going to be an incredible show. And look at this. Oh! One of the most underrated moves in professional wrestling, that thumb to the throat of Maverick. You see how it slowed him down. That thing hurts, man. You gotta have a strong thumb, I assume, because you don't wanna hurt, you don't wanna put your thumb in their throat and actually hurt yourself. Seeing Umaga use it to his advantage, amazing. Oh, look at this, look at El Numbre Uno save his partner. Look at Simon, he came again in the ring though. El Numbre Uno though, he, that was an illegal move. And the brain just pushed him off the apron. He feeling stupid now, he feeling hurt. He feeling pain in his head. Back and spine right now, player. <laughs> Uh-oh. The good speed of Maverick, the dude is just too fast, man. Too quick, too agile. Going around the ring, man, like a lightning blow. Can't believe this. Uh oh. Uh oh. He got that arm. He's gonna try to tear that arm out of his socket yeah. right now. He's gonna try to tear that arm off his body. If he can, he'll break that arm serve up. And the brain is a smart man. He knows when to tap out. But he also knows how to escape. He escapes right now. Maverick trying to weaken that arm, it seems. The brain going for that head, but. His brain, physically and mentally, the best. Oh, look at this. Oh, the brain going a little bit quick there. 
Maverick is such an incredible athlete. I mean, this guy, he's very smart. Look at this, man. He knows look, what he's look. doing there. He ah. twists ah. Maverick arm. Oh, man. And it slams it to the marine mat right now. Making the tag to Simon. Hey, hypnosis, man. He wants to go after the brain's arm. The brain gonna go after his arm. He is Maverick. He ain't got up since. He been sitting there in pain. Wondering what he's gonna do about that arm. Oh, or maybe wondering what he's gonna do about Simon's arm. He got Simon Simmons locked up. Play. He gonna snap it right now. He gonna hit him with that Fujiwara arm bar and make him tap out real quick. Uh oh, but Simon rolls out of it. Maverick, him, he discombobulated real quick. Oh, blam it. That speed. Oh, play. He, he in here with the quickness. He kicked him right in his head, man. Oh, and he hits the brain off the apron. This is insane. It's crazy right now, player. Uh-oh, but Simon gets back up. He stops the high flyer. Ryan is tracks. Well, right now on the tracks right now, it's like Maverick was on a plane. He came out of nowhere and stopped him. Off the top rope, he still ended up flying anyway. How run? Simon right now taking a break, trying to trying to gain back some uh, energy right now, it seems like. He's looking a little tired. Hit him with that T-bone. That's what he was looking for right there. And now he took down Maverick. He might be looking for it, player. Maybe. But straight to hell. Yeah, he adopted it from, oh, from Judas Macias, Sean Benjamin, an MVP, and our true four wrestlers that use that maneuver. That maneuver. And of course, Judas Macias. Oh, my God. El Numbre Uno flying in the ring. I don't know if he was trying to hit the referee or not, but he hit the referee anyways. Simon. Oh, no. And look at the brain. He's going to try to take advantage of this with that steel chair right now over the head of El Numbre Uno. And now Maverick. Maverick doesn't realize he's got a steel chair. My God. Maverick, he may have not got hit with all that steel chair though. He hits the brain off the apron. But now he's got to pay attention to sign. Oh my God, did the back of his head hit that chair? Did the back of the head hit that chair? It doesn't matter. Uh, El, uh, El, El, El Nubla Uno is distracting the referee. Uh, oh, not anymore. He ain't today, not tonight. Not any night. Oh man, El, El Nubla Uno, not El Generico as you almost called him. Oh, German suplex, down goes Simon, and now Maverick, he got that arm player, oh look at that, he gonna toss him right over, he going up, oh player, crash and burn, he hit the mat hard, that drop kick didn't take him down, no Simon better put more Oomph in that kick. Man, put more power in them legs. Oh my oh. God, I think Maverick just fell on his neck. No, I knows. think he's okay. I think, yeah, he's okay. I, I think he landed on his face. He almost too, landed on his neck. Hypnosis, man. That was too close for comfort, though, man. Oh, a drop kick to the back of his head. Save the thought I meant you no food. Ugh, my dude, man. Maverick trying to go for a DDT. Get stopped midair. Simon, now he's going after the arm, doing the same thing that the brain did. Oh, play. These two have got to be related, man. He probably, the brain is probably his dad for all we know. Oh, bizarre coincidence. That would be that father and son teaming up that didn't even realize it. Or maybe they secretly realize it. We don't know. I don't know. He's new. We'd have to talk to him about that backstage. Are these two related in any way? Whatsoever. Oh my god, no! And the brain using his skull as a weapon. This is what ended Shibata's career. But the brain is no Shibata. Yeah, we don't want to say that also. We don't know if Shibata's career is over or not, man. Can't just take what Dave Meltzer says and say and run with it, player. He's been wrong a few times. Shibata might be back in the ring, but he does gotta be careful with those headbutts. Okada, he got a hard ass head, player. So is the brain. What the hell is this? Oh, play. Oh, 450. 
And now number uno with a boot so oh my goodness! That was incredible right now, player. He going back up again, too. He ain't done. He ain't done yet. He ain't done. But the brain. He gonna make sure he done. Oh, never mind. He got kicked off. El Numbre Uno. Uh oh A wild right hand. Oh, player. But look at this. El Numbre Uno now. Getting that leg messed up and taking that back drop. Yeah, he like he dazed El Numbre Uno now. Sonic City. Oh. That, 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 that. That's straight to hell. I was gonna say that. I was gonna. The little I was gonna Jimmy. say the pay dirt for the play of the day, but he hits him with that straight to hell. Yeah, he straight gets to the hell. victory. Yeah, he made it clear to me. He, he calls it the straight to hell because of Judas Macias. That was the first one he saw. The first time he saw that move, it was from Judas Macias. He says he is. He, he's not here to copy other people. But if he is going to use their moves, he'll at least give them credit by calling it by the original name. I don't know. Simon, Simon Simmons is a weird guy. Very interesting guy, though. And it could be the future tag team champion here in FCW with the brain. The trouble match here tonight. He picks up the victory along with the brain and moves up in the tournament for the FCW tag team titles. What's going to happen in round two? First, we got three more teams here in round one, as well as three more matches within the weeks. Garland has moved up into round two, so we'll see what happens next week here on Fight Zone Wrestling. But don't go anywhere, because our main event is up next, ladies and gentlemen, a TLC match. The farthest thing from tender, loving care. Tables, ladders, and chairs is going to be involved up next with the women of FZW who will be crowned number one contender for the FZW Women's Championship. The number one contender will take on the champion on next week's episode of Fight Zone Wrestling. And we have a newcomer to the women's division, two newcomers really, Cosmic Tiger, former Online Wrestling Federation World Heavyweight Champion, and Teresa Phelps. On the right, in the green, Cosmic Tiger, of course, wearing the mask, and Niles Hunter in the middle. Here we go. This is an opportunity right now for all three of these women to do something big here tonight on Fight Zone Wrestling in our main event. Cosmic Tiger as a former OWF World Heavyweight Champion. Despite it being true, how come she didn't go down the history of all the other women in this match? Cosmic Tiger is the only woman in Online Wrestling Federation history to ever hold the OWF World Heavyweight Championship. So she's definitely got to be the fan favorite to win the FCW Women's Championship. First, she has to win this number one contenders match. Hypnosis, I'm just saying, man. Why does she have to say she's a former world champion? I'm a former OWF World Heavyweight Champion. You're a former OWF World Heavyweight Champion. She's never said it for us. Well, you know, Cosmic Tiger being the only woman to hold the World Heavyweight Championship, it's very special. Let's see what she can do in this match here tonight. Along with Niles Hunter and Teresa Phelps. Of 
of course, Teresa Phelps of Irish descent. She's so bright, I can barely even see anything, player. Blinding me right now, player. She related to Seamus in any way? Ah, oh, player, here we go. The bell is rung, and now we're about to see some damage take place. They better hurry up and get that ladder, because it's going to be real hot after a while if it keeps sitting there in the sun, <laughs> since we're in an outdoor arena here tonight. It's actually very smart, sir. I didn't even think about that. This, the ladder. Luckily, it's just been placed there, so it shouldn't be hot right now, but as the match progresses, it could be. Cosmic Tiger getting things start off with Teresa Phelps right now and Niles Hunter right now being smart. She's going to take a step back and wait while these two do battle. It looks like from the point of things right now. But Niles Hunter like she wants to get involved now it looks like. Oh, watch out. She missed with the clothesline. Was she trying to miss or was that on purpose or did she just make a mistake right there? Oh a back suplex on Teresa Phelps. She rolls out of the ring to safety, and now Cosmic Tiger and Niles Hunter are going to go eight right now. Oh, nice suplex there on Cosmic Tiger. Cosmic Tiger with that back elbow and the scoop slam. Take her down. But Teresa Phelps is going to get back in the ring, it looks like. Keep things going. Nice gut buster right there. Keeping the attack going. Cosmic Tiger off the ropes. Oh, man. Reverse DDT. It's just going everywhere. Actually, it's just going everywhere. Everyone's fighting everyone here at this point. Oh! oh hey! Lens, wh what was that? I don't know what it was, but it was effective. She jumped up and stomped her while she was standing up. That's just insane, but that's crazy. That sit out scoop slam, the Michinoku driver. To be able to leap up that high and... Oh, oh. she did it again! Speaking she did of, it again! Now, this is incredible talent being shown from Teresa Phelps right now here in this women's division. Cosmic Tiger and Niles Hunter are going to have a challenge here tonight to get that number one contendership. And look at this, she jumps up again, just starts attacking her like crazy, like a wild woman. And just starts putting the boots to her. That's what I do. You got him down. Cosmic Tiger are waiting for her chance. Oh, using those, those nails to her right. advantage right now, using those claws. Those claws, just like a tiger. Cosmic Tiger, oh, she, she lands on feet. Oh my, up. what the oh, hell? Oh, DDT oh, on Niles oh, Hunter. And then a drop kick by Cosmic Tiger. Oh my goodness, man. That was incredible right there. Bro. I did not expect her to land on her feet. And she wasn't expecting to get DDT. Incredible, man. Incredible move by both women involved. Taking out Niles Hunter. Niles Hunter right now looks to be in a little trouble. She just knocked down the ladder, player. What they should do is put that ladder under the ring real quick if they're not going to use it. Make sure it get a little bit of shade on it so it don't be too hot. You know, I'm just saying, we out here in the sun. Look at this, Cosmic Tiger. The knees to the ribs. Nice move, bro. And a Russian leg sweep. Nicely done, player. I like that. Oh, but here we go. Niles Hunter now. now. Going up the Cosmic Tiger. Taking a advantage. In my opinion, that's the one that they're going to want to take out, man. She's the one that has the advantage because she has not only won the Featherweight Championship, which is the equivalent of the Women's Championship in OWF, but she won the World Heavyweight Championship, too. The greatest prize in this sport right now, player. That's equivalent to her being shown in Mondo and winning. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. God! Now it's how the problem just broke Cosmic Tiger's neck. Oh, boy! And she ain't... Uh-oh. She ain't gonna have a good day right now. Look at Teresa Phelps. 
Oh! Went through the ropes! Oh! Play! She went through the ropes, not over the top rope. Like I originally thought her a suicide dive. She did a sit on instead. Gonna try to go up to that ladder, I think. The Cosmic Tiger's back up to her feet. Gonna go after her anyways. Remember Cosmic Tiger. I, I think she's the best experience with ladders after what happened at OWF Legend years ago. She hit that shooting star press off the top of a ladder, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Look at this. Both these women are getting kicked in the head. They better. They, they should probably leave her alone. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's about to wipe Niles it off. Now Hunter. Uh oh. With the backdrop on the oh. apron. Yeah. Thankfully, the ladder wasn't there, but it doesn't make a difference. It's going to hurt either way. Oh, Cosmic so Tiger over the top rope man. on Niles Hunter. Hypnosis, that's the hardest part of the ring right there, man. That's where that metal is, player. That's the hardest wow. part of the ring. And now look at this. Good oh, God almighty. What a kick there by, by Teresa. Teresa really quite clean house right now, but she's doing that work right now, but she putting in work. Oh, it's Hunter! Whoa! Oh, she went for a drop kick and hit the ladder. Teresa moved out of the way slightly. Cosmic Tiger goes flying out of the ring. Teresa has a chance to grab that briefcase and win a, a title match. For the women's championship against Genesis. Here we go. All she gotta do is get that money in the bank briefcase down. And she can win this match right here, right now. Cosmic Tiger's trying to stop her. Cosmic Tiger's trying to stop her real quick. Make sure she ain't getting no gold here tonight. Ain't getting no money in the bank. No guaranteed title match. She ain't getting no... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, Cosmic Tiger getting off the ladder as she saw Niles Hunter come in. Gotta say, man, that was a pretty smart move right there. She had the advantage. She had the advantage right there, player. Got that table set up. Something ain't gonna happen. Uh, some, uh, something gonna happen, I mean, but it ain't gonna be pretty as these three ladies are. Well, two of them anyways. I'm just saying, I don't know how pretty Cosmic Tiger is. She wears a mask all the time, player. Come on, man. I'm sure she's very pretty. I'm sure she's a very beautiful woman. Now, I'm sure Nine is a very handsome man, but probably not. I heard they never even seen each other's faces. They have to wear masks just to recognize each other. But it works because they so ugly, they wouldn't have got married to each other anyway. Because even they don't find each other attractive. Struggled a bit there, but you finally got it. There you go. Right now, Teresa, and uh, what is this? They're teaming up on Cosmic Tiger right now, like I said earlier. Oh, my God. Ah. What the hell is this? Niles but Hunter, Teresa. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> and she landed on Niles Hunter <laughs> instead of Cosmic Tiger. She's taking oh, advantage. The leg so drop smart. on Niles Hunter. Boy, that was so smart right there, man. Niles man. still trying to, trying to Go ahead, cooperate. Man. Trying to coop, coop, cooperate isn't the word I'm looking for, but cooperate from those yeah, from the attacks you just up, seen at the backup. hands of a leg of 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 Teresa Phelps right now. Gosh. Now both women are on top of the ladder. This is very dangerous. Oh my God! Oh, no. She just got tossed from the top of the yeah. ladder. Well, now she's recuperating. Oh my right. God! And now Hunter, she has an opportunity right now to get that briefcase, become the number one contender for the women's championship. But she's Cosmic being stopped Tiger. right now by Cosmic Tiger. Cosmic Tiger don't want her to get that title, man. She don't want her to be successful. She don't want her to be happy. Look at this fireball <laughs> wow. by Cosmic Tiger. Now it's on the rolls out of the ring while Cosmic Tiger gets the back of her head slapped against the ladder. It's incredible. Man, just, just... These three ladies she's already just... for anybody, anybody and everybody right now to get up. Oh, she's looking around right now. These three ladies are putting on such an incredible match right now. Serve up. It's just incredible. Look at this. Make it sure Niles Hunter not coming up behind her. Yeah, it looks like Niles Hunter's getting up too, go. but she doesn't see it. That, oh, that's right. a finisher. Nice neck oh. right there. They're all coming. Niles Hunter Oh, coming my in. God. That is her finishing maneuver from what I know. She get that neck breaker from out of nowhere. You turn your back on her, you're done for. Pretty much like a reverse, 
A reverse RKO. I would, I would describe it as. Oh, and the ladder across the side of the head and, that was and the shoulder. Oh, and now across the chest and face it looked like of Cosmic Tiger. And that was a lot of ladder that was colliding with the two, man. Go now. Nas Hunter. The top. The top. Oh, punt. Oh. Here we one more. Uh, sight. Down. Cause the Tiger's whole jaw messed up right now. Play. Uh, and then her face gets messed up too. Knocks her out with the bomb booties. And now Nas Hunter. She went for Teresa. It looked like Teresa jumping over the top rope and getting a kick by the stunt. She got oh, kicked nice by them man. guts. Like, and now, uh oh, but now Hunter just gets slammed down. No problem. Nothing fancy about it. But it actually was a pretty fancy move, I'm going to be honest. Well, now Teresa felt in, in, in control, I mean, but no, now she looks to be in trouble as I say something. It didn't mean jinx it. Cosmic Tiger gonna do here. Look at this. Nice hurricane runner there. Cosmic Tiger like she's gonna hit the ropes and go for something like she changed her mind and decided to go for something else. A moonsault! A moonsault from the top rope. Here comes Niles Hunter with the steel chair now in this tables, lights, and chairs match. And now all three of those versions of the weapons have come into play now. How is it going to change the match outcome right now? Niles Hunter taking out Cosmic Tiger. Now she has that steel chair right on the back of Teresa Phelps. A steel chair over the spine of Teresa Phelps. She ain't feeling too good right now, player. My God. She ain't feeling too good at all right now, Hypnosis. She took a steel chair to the back. I'm telling you, man, she's out of it. She's looking for another chair now. Look at this. Oh no, she's looking for another ladder, my bad. And this ladder looks bigger than the one that's already in the ring. But she ain't putting it in the ring. She should use it to her advantage. But instead, she put it up between the ring apron and the guard wrap. This is some bad news right now. Play oh, crossbody attempt didn't work out. Teresa just moved right up out of the way, player. She not having any of that tonight, man. She got a busy schedule, but she can't fit that crossbody on. I thought she, she was going to grab her arm and go for that neck breaker you were talking about earlier again. Uh-uh. Trouble for Cosmic Tiger. Power up. Oh, oh, my no. God. But the, she didn't even go through the table. She hit the and corner now she's of the eating, table, she's man. She's going for another table. Why is she getting another table? She's already got one. Oh. What is this? What does she got planned? What is this? Oh, down goes Niles Hunter. And now Teresa Phelps has those tables right now. This is not looking good. We got a ladder on the outside. We got two tables in the ring. What's going to happen here? She's setting up both tables in the ring. Serve up. Something's about to go down. I have no idea what, but something is about to happen. And right now, Teresa Phelps and Cosmic Tiger on top of that ladder. Oh, oh my God! That's it. She's dead. Cosmic Tiger is dead. Play. Ah, oh, Teresa with a close line. Picking up the ladder up. Keeping that ladder in her hands. Niles Hunter. Oh, Teresa just knocked down one of those tables right now. And Niles Hunter right now. She's getting that ladder again. Cosmic Tiger's back up to her feet. Amazing. She's still holding her body, though. She is hurt right now. And she takes out Teresa, though. Oh, oh my God! Boomaye! By Cosmic Tiger! She gets that ladder. She has the, the opportunity. The face of Niles Hunter. And now Cosmic Tiger is in control of this match. She has an opportunity oh, to play. win the Women's Championship. Well, get a, a title match it. against the Women's Trying Champion. Trying to get that briefcase so she get that number one she contender's match. She has it. Match. 
She's Almost. close. So close yet so far away. Teresa comes in. And look now, out for Niles, Niles Look out for Niles Hunter. Hunter. Oh, play. This ain't this. looking good right now. Play this. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Play. We got bodies crashing everywhere. Wow. At least Cosmic Tiger landed on a table. Teresa landed through a table. She got back up. She rolled out of the ring here. Able to stop Niles Hunter right now. Niles Hunter had an opportunity, and that opportunity, that window just got closed. What is, what, what is Teresa doing? Look, she's setting up a, another table. Well, that's the same table that didn't break anyways. And now Niles Hunter, oh no. Hit her right in her legs. Oh, she let go of the briefcase momentarily, and now she grabs onto it again, but still gets hit down. Oh! Cosmic Tiger moved the table before she fell through it. I don't know if she meant to save her or if that was an accident. She was just trying to get the table out of the way so she didn't get involved. I don't know what was going on there, but either way, Niles Hunter, lucky she didn't fall through the table. She bumped into it a little bit, though. That could have caused some damage. Yeah, right now, man, so far, looks like this is doing a real good job in that ring right now, man. Niles Hunter... She needs to get back in the ring if she want to have a chance right now. Like that's what she's doing, but Teresa waiting for it. She went for them right hand. Oh, ow! Oh, what a rocket! Teresa rolling out of the ring and going safety now. And Cosmic Tiger's only one in the ring. She in trouble. Tell me, Claire. Oh, play! She just got her head smushed against the table, uh, against that uh, that chair. My bad. Cosmic she, is got, of it. she got her head smashed in sun, basically. Niles Hunter needs to take advantage. Doesn't right look like now. Niles Hunter's done. She needs to take advantage. Taking out Teresa and Cosmic Tiger. Going for that table. Oh, and then Teresa get a table around her face right now, hypnosis. Cosmic Tiger going up, trying to get the briefcase. She said she's away from it, but Niles Hunter's trying to stop her. Look at this, though. I don't know if this is a good idea when Cosmic Tiger's up on the ladder. Oh, she wants to stop Niles Hunter so she can go after Cosmic Tiger. Uh-oh. Cosmic Tiger. Oh, and now... Teresa, elbow on top of the ladder to Cosmic Tiger. Oh, play! Hits her right off the ladder and she collides with Niles Hunter. Niles Hunter. And now Niles Hunter's down. Teresa can become the number one contender for the, the women's championship right here, right now. All she has to do is grab that briefcase and pull it down. Yeah, but hypnosis, she having a little bit of trouble with it. That thing is harder to get down than people think. Oh, oh God damn! Oh. God! Oh, play! She just got pushed up the wall by Niles Hunter like she's going for something. And Niles Hunter, she said not tonight. The back of Teresa's head has got to be hurting right now. She hit the mat really hard. Cosmic Tiger keeping her down too. Going up the ladder herself right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Off the ladder with the neck breaker by Niles Hunter. On the Cosmic Tiger. And that should be the end of the match. But what the hell? Teresa's not going for the... She's not going for the briefcase. Cosmic Tiger just got a neck breaker off the ladder. And she's looking... To continue the assault, it looks like. Oh no. Oh. More pain. Oh my god. Through the table goes Cosmic Tiger. And now Zona's climbing up the ladder. So it's Teresa. Both women are on the ladder now. And this is trouble. This is trouble. Oh no. Now another neck breaker by Niles Hunter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. That's it. She got thrown off too. And now Teresa. She has the briefcase in hand. 
and she is the number one contender for the women's oh championship. Wow, that match was insane! That match was insane! What a main event for Fight Zone Wrestling, man! Look at this through the ladder! Go Cosmic Tiger! She hit her head on that Cosmic Tiger took one hell of a beat throughout this whole match. Look at this through the table. She got neck breakered off the ladder. She got thrown through that steel chair. In the end, Teresa picks up the victory and she gets a women's championship match next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Watch us live next week when Melvin Thompson challenges the world champion, Sheldon Mondo. Thank you and good night.